The older and more experienced you are, the less desirable you become. I have gone on over a dozen interviews, and these young girls seem to take a special pleasure in rubbing my age in my face. I'm 26, dude. I mean, we gotta be the same age, give or take. You know, actually, that's not a totally ludicrous assumption. No one wants to hire a 40-year-old has-been. Tell them you're 26. People believe what you tell them. They believe the real housewives are real. They think the coconut wood is going to shrink their ass. They'll believe you're 26. You've been out of school for four years? Mm-hmm. What would you say makes you special? I'm a grown-up. I don't think I'm special. I got the job. I am working for Diana Trout, head of marketing. I'm Kelsey Peters. I'm an editor here. As Taylor Swift said, there is a special place in hell for women who don't help other women. I've got your back, girl. Liza, this is Lauren. She's a publicist. <gasps> that bush. Oh, it looks like my mother's vagina. For your information, I call it a Wisconsin. I want you to meet Thad, my boyfriend. What year did you say you graduated, Dartmouth? Uh, 08. So you must know Craig Fowler. Fowler loved the ladies. Fowler's gay. <laughs> looks like you have a date tonight with Josh. Hey, scaredy cat. Where are you going? Just coming to meet you. One more thing you should know about me. I'm all about work right now. I will try and keep my distance, neighbor. OK. Neighbor. Good. Uh, what you doing there? It's Topless Tuesday on Twitter, OK? I need to tweet. Women post topless selfies on Twitter to support female empowerment. We could run a viral campaign with our fans on social media. Show us your oats is trending. We should introduce Liza to Richard. Richard is an absolute catch. Looking for someone? I'm going straight to Bjornberg's reading after work. Come with me. I'm seeing Josh tonight. Kelsey Peters. I'm an editor at Empirical. Hey, Anton. I want to sign you. Oh, <laughs> that's my forward. Just need to relax a little bit. Well, I do. I need to relax. This guy's really into you. I know. That's why I gotta tell him the truth. Hey, there's something that I need to tell you. Never mind. I was watching myself in sexual positions I thought were only theoretical. Ooh, fantastic. Congratulations. No, it's complicating everything. <laughs> Empirical is now officially the publishing house for the English translation of Anton Bjornberg's Kaleidoscope of Life. Don't let me drink too much tonight, okay? I have to be sharp for Bjornberg. I got your back. Another run? Okay. Just this one. We're just getting started. We're gonna go see Josh at his tattoo parlor in Brooklyn. You are hot. <laughs> that moment when I saw them together, my stomach just dropped. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is more than just fun. She is a girl that I used to date. I would have told you a lot more sooner, but you said you didn't want to talk about the past. And is she? Totally. You think that I can maybe have another chance? I'm all about second chances. I'm so sorry. It won't happen again. We both get one mistake. Charles has scheduled a meeting. Do you like him? He is a married man, Liza. Heard a rumor his marriage is on the rocks. How Things Fall Apart is one of my favorite books. I actually think it's required reading now in high school. It is. My goddess cup is stuck. I need you to lock the door, and I need you to wash your hands. Damn it! Thank you. We will never speak of this again. Woo. Let's go get a drink tonight. I owe you one. I can't tonight. I'm going to an art show with my roommate. I'll rescue you. This is my roommate, Maggie. Can we blow off Craigslist Maggie and go get a drink already? Welcome to the inner circle, Liza. Ride or die. Salute. Bitches! Yes! yes. <laughs> I have bitches, Maggie, and we roll. Bill canceled my show and dropped me from the gallery. Have a great rescue night, yo. What the hell are you doing? Trying to win you back? I'm so sorry I wasn't there for you last night. Hard to make new friends. It's harder to lose old ones. What is this place? You'll see. Hey, guys. Come on in. Welcome to your pop-up gallery. I can't believe you guys did this for me. <laughs> Any friend of Liza's, come on. Yeah, thank hey. you. Yeah. Annabelle Bancroft. I want this party to be epic. I'm going to make her run point for the party tomorrow. Me? No, no, I don't need a pea hen. I need a peacock. Cock! I need at least three of the biggest, most beautiful cocks you have. You look beautiful tonight. 
Thank you all so much for coming tonight. I see my dealer. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Diana? This party is a disaster. No, no, it's not a disaster. We're a vine, a trending vine. Get her in the car before she chokes on her hair. You're too smart to be known as the editor who sleeps with their author. I know what I'm doing. And you're not my mother. I wonder what we're going to be like in our 40s. I think I'm going to be a lot like I am now. Me too. Mom, only half the tuition came in for my semester. Honey, I'm sorry about this. I'm going to get you that money, I promise. For like a hot minute, I had a nice little side biz selling my panties on Craigslist. Hey, hey, I just got sniffed and stiffed. I have another gig for you. I know you. You work for uh, Diana Trout. So what brings you out to this fabulous bash? Just trying to get out there more since my divorce. Oh my God, oh my God! So your spill last night, I am. And you better stick to publishing, I'm just saying. Well, as long as I still get to wear hot pants in the office. What kind of party would you be at with Charles? Well, I wasn't exactly a guest. I was working. I have this student loan payment of, like, $1,800 due, and they're totally harassing me. This is so generous of you, but I couldn't possibly take this. Considered an early Christmas bonus. You have no idea how much this means to me. This is the most important literary event of the season. Don't get sidetracked. Oh, Bjornberg's wife is flying in to surprise him. Bjornberg's wife is coming here? Yes, but shh, it's a surprise. Mm. Your adventure with Bjornberg has collateral damage. And I gotta go pick her up at the airport. He writes about you, his 26-year-old mistress who works as an assistant in a publishing house. Oh, he wrote about that. I have to break things off with Anton, but I can't right now. The Penn Awards are in like an hour. Charles's babysitter didn't show, so I volunteered you. I'm already back in Brooklyn. <sighs> if only there was some sort of underground train system that could get you to the Upper West Side in 30 minutes. Hi. I'm Liza. Come to my playroom. What, you have two playrooms? And a media room and a library. Wow. I don't think we've officially met. I'm Kelsey Peters. I'm Anton's editor. Oh, nice to meet you, Kelsey. I'm the one sleeping with your husband. Excuse me? What day is late? Oh, yeah, hours ago. Can I, can I offer you a drink? Sure, I'll have what you're having. You sure you're 26? Mm -hmm. Oh, a friend's um, walking me home. Wait. Didn't have to come get me. Right. Looks like my secret breakfast spot isn't so secret anymore. Oh my god, hi. Hi. You know, you should take a crack at the slush pile sometime. The slush pile? Hey, where's the slush pile? That sad little stack of books behind me? No, wait, 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 wait. This one isn't that bad. The scarf. It's about how this 12-year-old Union soldier uses his scarf to save a Confederate soldier's life. It's good. You should read it. Ah, uh, no, I'm not really that big of a reader. Oh, I, di I didn't know that. Dodgeball. Brown! Oh. I got you some ice. Where is it? Ice is. It's a collective noun. Hey, I brought you some ice. Books and reading are my life. Yeah, and I'm a visual person. I get turned on by what I feel and what I see. I figured if I came here, beat up again, maybe you'd feel sorry for me and walk me home. And then along the way, I'd say something charming and maybe you'd forgive me. Our very own Liza Miller found a book in the slush pile and suddenly getting a lot of attention. I loved your book. I think we're going to have a big success on our hands. Yes, the scarf was a compelling read. But it was more compelling the first time it was published as the Babushka. Oh, all right, you know what? I'm sorry. I was desperate. It's just you start to lie, and then you almost begin to believe it. You are the year of the dragon. Uh, no. It's not a good match. Oh, no, 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 we are a good match. I'm the year of the tight void scare of 1988. So is, uh, is she new girlfriend? Uh, uh, we're hanging out. 
right? I've never really been much for words. I'm more of a man of symbols. It's for your birth year. When he first kisses her, he kisses her very, very softly. I'm having a hot mitzvah. To my friends. Lahaya, bitches! That's my special hot mitzvah shooter, Manischewitz and Molly. What? Oh my god, I love you. Mm. I love you too. That's why I have to tell you this. I'm a 40-year-old mom from New Jersey. <laughs> my feelings for you have always been completely real. Nothing was real if it was all based in a lie. But I totally understand if you never want to see me again. Because I don't ever want to see you again. I still love him. I think I always will. Come here. I'm in Midtown with no money. God. I knew it was you. What the hell's going on? I lied about my age. <laughs> it's not a crime, Cheryl. Could you get me Empirical's marketing numbers on the Ellen book? Isn't it proprietary information? Well, I don't think I need to teach you how to color outside the lines. Here you are. What's this? Oh, sweetie, it's our email exchange. It's you asking for all of Empirical's profit and loss and marketing numbers. This goes straight to Gawker unless you back off. I wonder how long you think you can really get away with this. I guess we'll find out. Will you give him this? You never really let him get to know you. Look, I know we all want to be the perfect girl in a relationship. So maybe you just need to let Josh see the real you. Not just the good stuff, you know, even the parts of you that you're not so proud of. Don't hold back. Get messy. Show him the full Liza. I don't think that it's too late. Hey. So you wore polka dots to prom, huh? Hi, I'm Liza Miller. I'm 40, I'm divorced, and I have an 18-year-old daughter named Caitlin. It's nice to meet you, Liza. So, uh, can we get a cup of coffee? I would love that.